Have you been reading the newspapers recently? I mean, this is unbelievable. By the way, welcome to Know the Cause, the show you have popularized. Thank you. I am your humbled host. Doug Kaufman is my name. A couple of papers came out that we need to spend some time on today, right? Uh, two of them came out on depression. This was fascinating. Could depression be linked to an infection? Aha. Welcome to Know the Cause. Do you think fungus could cause depression? Uh, the second paper that came out, I thought, this is staggering. These two papers would come out on the same week. Study. More than two-thirds of patients on antidepressants aren't depressed. They don't fit the criteria according to psychiatrists. Folks, we have a problem in America. No problem going to any doctor and getting on antidepressants. Do you need them is the big question. And number two, what is the fungus link to brain neurological problems? Does fungus impede the brain? All that and more on today's Know the Cause. My name is Doug Kaufman. For the past 40 years, I've dedicated my life and even my career to finding the root cause of disease. Join me and a team of physicians, pharmacists, and scientists. And soon you too will know the cause. You are looking at my medicine cabinet at home, <laughs> just lying. Scott is so wonderful. Scott Olson is the president of a company called Poop Doc. I wish I had 10 cents for every person that this product has helped. So many people come on TV, folks, and talk about their fiber or, or their magnesium. Scott has put his money where his mouth is. So many of you are now benefiting from what this man has done. It all starts with something called magnesium. I remember, you know, when people have constipation problems, magnesium citrate from a pharmacist, et cetera. But there's a form of magnesium that just you have. It's not available. And I don't know what's in it, Scott, but Poop Doc is an appropriate name for your company. It really seems to help people who have chronic constipation work. What is it? It's inorganic magnesium. It's not something that you can go to the health food store and get. Okay. And what we do is we ozonate it. The big secret is it's a real proprietary process. You know, many right. have tried to figure it out. And the reason is, Poop Doc, the Formula One, is the only thing that really works. So we get calls, you know, look, you know, I go once a week, or right. I go once every three days, or I go once every 10 days. I mean, it, we've even had one person that called, I go once a month. Mm. I mean, hearing twice a month is, you know, with a name like Poop Doc, you get all kinds of calls because people are desperate. Scott, you once said, look, it isn't funny. I mean, this is something that's real. A physician watching the show uh, said, well, what have I got to lose, and ordered your product. Now, folks, it's one thing to give a man a fish, then he'll eat for a day. It's a whole other thing to teach a man to fish, then he eats for the rest of his life. A lot of fish out in those waters, right? When a physician gets sick or is constipated, what do they do? When we get sick, we go to a doctor. Listen to what this physician had to say about Poop Doc. I am a physician, and I also have struggled and I mean struggled with constipation for my entire 63 years on earth. This has been one of the major issues influencing many of my life decisions and you are right, it's not funny. I have received worthless or worse advice from doctors, semi-doctors, wannabe doctors and everybody else. I have used other magnesium-based products with some partial relief. I'm writing because I just have to tell you that your product is the best thing I have ever used. I now consider my arsenal to be equipped for this challenge, and I am without words sufficient to tell you how grateful I am. I have a transcript that uh, you made available. This is absolutely amazing. It's, can you imagine, Scott, the joy? Well, you imagine it because you feel it. When a doctor realizes this product finally works for her, how many of her patients do you think uh, that they're going to put on this product? Gut problems, are they a huge problem in America? Well, there's uh, a billion office visits a year, and there's three million a month just for 
Digest stomach digestive problems. Gas Three problems. million a month. Thirty-six million a year of us make visits to a doctor. And here's a doctor who now gets it and will help so many. Funny story, Scott, I worked in dermatology for quite a few years, and the patients would come in with ruddy complexions or health problems, psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, et cetera. And if you really pull them aside, shh, they want to talk about constipation. You know, Doug, I have to get out of here. It's nice talking with you, but I got to get to the gastroenterologist. Oh, why? Because I'm really constipated. And sometimes, folks, if you fix this, you fix this also. Scott, I'm not one of those people. I never really suffered from constipation. I've been blessed in that area. But I take this. This really does look like my medicine cabinet. <laughs> I take a scoop of this in water uh, before going to bed at night. Now, what is this product? What is your fiber product? Well, Formula One, we get everybody going. And that's what works when nothing else works. Is that the magnesium? <clears throat> right. Okay. The inorganic magnesium mm -hmm. compounds. Once people are going, we all need fiber. I mean, you know, once we're 25, 30, we need fiber. Right. So usually when people grab something off the shelf in the grocery store, or even a health food store, it's pure psyllium. And what they're going to do is they're going to take that, they're going to be bloated, they're going to get gas. They're not going to feel so good. You know, 90, 95% of America is dehydrated, yeah. so they need, they're not drinking enough water. So we made this, blended it with five different natural anti-inflammatory herbs so it calms and soothes, and then even added some L-glutamine, the best amino acid for the gut. You know, people often say, you know, it's just a gut reaction. And little did we know, folks, that what Scott's company has known for a long time, by the way, poopdoc.com, little did we know that a large part of our immune system is right down here. If it's broken, maybe now you can fix it. Scott, PoopDoc, thank you very much for coming. Thanks, Doug. Do you begin each day with a nutritional boost for the immune response plus needed vitamins, minerals, and enzymes and a healthy breakfast? Start today using the daily duo of NSC24 Immunition Original Glucan 30 Count to boost the immune response and the NSC Gold Multiple Vitamin 60 Count with minerals and enzymes. Where you get multiple nutrients for energy and improved digestion with less acidity. If you have more serious health challenges, substitute the NSC 100 Immunition Extra Strength Glucan. Eat a breakfast absent sugar and bread to avoid hyperactivity, brain fog, and fungal invasion. Begin your morning health regimen with the NSC Daily Duo Special of NSC 24 Original Glucan 30 Count and the NSC Gold Multiple Vitamin 60 Count with minerals and enzymes, both 50% off for only $19.95. Can you really eat fat and lose weight? So says my good buddy, Dr. Ann Louise Gittleman is here today. Uh, as a matter of fact, she's authored a book to that effect, Eat Fat, Lose Weight. We first met, boy, what a interesting background we have. <laughs> Maybe 40 years ago in the 1970s, I read Townsend Letter for Doctors Communicating with Doctors back in the 1970s. And I was in clinical practice back then, working with Dr. Howard Gottschalk, who was a Los Angeles ear, nose, and throat guy. And I was finding when these patients ate avocados and ate coconut oil, which were horrible words back in the 1970s, they seemed to do much better with their allergies, their skin, and so forth. Well, along comes Townsend Letter, and this doctor is writing in Townsend Letter that those foods are actually good for your health. Welcome to the woman <laughs> I spoke with maybe 40 years ago on the phone. You were kind enough to return my call and talk. We didn't have emails, we didn't have cell phones. But you and I talked and you lent scientific credibility to this whole, shall I say, problem. Because remember the food pyramid? You need to turn it upside down, no fats, be careful of fats and oils. Tell us what this great new book, which is a book you folks need to read, right? This is so amazing, eat fat to lose weight. What information is in there that this audience would deem useful? Well, thank you, first of all, for having me Great. after 40 years of first knowing you. <laughs> um, I would say that eat fat, lose weight really is the mantra for 2016 onwards towards the rest of the century because fat is the most important nutrient in terms of your heart, in terms of your skin, in terms of your joints, in terms of your brain. 
60% of your brain is made of the right kind of fats, and it's important in terms of your hormones. So there is nothing about fat that your body can't use, provided it's the smart fats. So we're not talking about the processed oils, the polyunsaturated oils, or the hydrogenated oils. We're talking about the good saturates, from your coconut oil, from your avocados, your monounsaturates. We're also talking about macadamia nut oil, nuts and seeds, and something called GLA, or gamma linolenic acid, that you get from evening primrose oil, as well as the botanicals. Because all of that is the precursor of your hormones for your sex life, as well as your appetite, as well as your stress, and in terms of really kicking off metabolism. Women particularly need this for beautiful skin, hair, and nails. Men need this for their prostate glands, and they need it in terms of heart disease. So the book, Eat Fat, Lose Weight, shows you the right fats to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what you need to do in between, and how you metabolize and digest fats. Because it's not just about eating them, but it's about digesting them, as I think you know. And so many people tell me, by the way, it's so good to see you again you and I need to have lunch because we would never <laughs> quit talking about uh, our fields of interest. So many people tell me, well, this book wouldn't apply to me because I had a cholecystectomy, I had my gallbladder taken out, and so the doctor really has me on a special diet. Any truth to that, or can people without a gallbladder benefit from eating certain good fats? People without a gallbladder absolutely need the book because I teach you what to do without a gallbladder. You should be taking bile salts. You should be putting back in your body what is no longer being produced or being stored in the gallbladder. So there's certain nutrients that you need. I talk about the ox bile particularly, about the importance of certain types of beets in the system as well as lecithin, which acts as a detergent. And I talk about the three foods, Doug, that are very unhealthy, particularly if you think you have gallstones. Because what we found with some very interesting allergy research back in the day is that there are three basic foods that will precipitate gallstone problems and gallbladder attacks. And if you get rid of those three basic foods, almost 100% of your discomfort goes away. Wow. Do you remember this? I had Dr. Gittleman on here a long time ago. I found these in my bookshelf. Mm. Through the years, I've read them. <laughs> Fat Flush, million seller, a million seller. I won't ask what your cut of that was, but that's very, very exciting. We hope this book does the same thing. Can you eat fat to lose weight? You say you need to eat the right fats to lose weight or you won't. Well, it's because that's the most important nutrient that we have to stabilize blood sugar. It's the most important nutrient that we have to offset insulin. And if you just think of it this way, there are skinny oils, but all kinds of sugar and carbohydrates and too much fruit, particularly from certain types of high fructose fruits, will make you fat, will upset your colon, will upset your immune system, and will upset your skin, hair, and nails. So fat makes you thin and sugar makes makes you fat and sick. There was a period of time many years ago, 40 years ago exactly, when if I told someone to eat an avocado, I had dietitians shaking their finger <laughs> at me. Thank you for your time today. This book, I hope it sells and sells and sells. Eat fat, lose weight. You can go to annlouise.com. Ann Louise, no E, A-N-N, louise.com. Thank you for your time. You're so welcome. You need to be an educated consumer to find the best probiotic. Dr. O'Hara stands out in its quality and consistent effects. I'm pharmacist Dr. Ross Pelton and I only recommend Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. It provides live beneficial bacteria and nourishes your own native probiotics. This supports long-term digestive comfort and a healthy immune system. I believe in Dr. O'Hara's lasting results. It takes guts to stay healthy. You know, when it comes to exercise, anybody can hold a plank. I might be able to do that for three or four seconds myself. But a high-low plank? That requires special skills. Watch Daniel. So, welcome back. You're feeling stronger. I can, you look great, by the way. I can already tell the difference. Today, we're gonna do a high plank to a low plank. We're gonna do two different versions for a beginner, but then I also wanna give you something to shoot for, something, a goal, some, some place you're gonna end up. So I wanna be, on my knees, 
in sort of a, a push-up position. Uh, they used to call it the girl push-up, but I know some pretty tough chicks that, uh, that can do some amazing push-ups one-handed, so let's totally eliminate that cognate from our mind. Start in a push-up position here. Again, shoulders low, posture's important. Shoulder blades together, buns are tight. I am a strong plank right now. Now I'm going to replace my right hand with my right elbow, my left hand with my left elbow, and then I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna just gonna get a nice rhythm, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up. Your stomach, your core is what's stabilizing here, okay? So again, it's super simple. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. You'll feel the difference. What are we trying to get to? We're trying to get to this, okay? Down, down, up, up. It's almost like a one-handed push-up, so congratulations, bravo, if you're doing this correctly. I feel a huge circle of energy running through my core, running through my legs, running through my chest. I, I feel like I know my body more. I feel like I'm more aware of, of, of physical movement after just, what, 10, 12, 15 seconds worth of movement. This is important. These are the exercises, this whole series that's gonna keep you feeling young, feeling great, playing with grandkids, spending your money on fun stuff like exercise and vacation rather than medicine or, or surgery. So invest in yourself here. I cannot encourage you or, or emphasize enough how important it is to take care of yourself. You have one body. If you don't take care of it, somebody else is and they're not gonna treat it as well as you do, I promise. Looking forward to seeing you again next time. Keep it up, remember it's posture, and then just allocating a few minutes each morning to doing a few simple exercises. Looking forward to seeing you again next time. We're doing great things here. Check us out on Know the Cause. You know, I don't know how many of you have this book, The Fungus Link, but Dr. Holland and I were working on it in 1998 and 1999. Uh, by the year 2000, it was copyrighted, and page 105, one of the chapters in here, back in the 90s, was dedicated to the fungus link to depression. At that time, we had a couple of friends who were PhD psychologists who had a big clinic out here in Dallas, and one of the doctors was a patient of ours, and she had improved so magnificently with her health problems, she said, why don't I try this on my depressed patients? Because like any good doctor, when she was interviewing the patient, she found out, gosh, their symptoms may be manifesting here, but they also have lung problems, skin problems, bowel problems, et cetera. So she changed their diet. This was a psychologist. This isn't in the, the work, uh, the job uh, request for a psychologist, but it was for her. She started seeing such changes in her folks, she actually wrote a little bit in this book that I'm wondering how many depressed patients actually have fungal diseases. So in 1999, we were working on it. By the year 2001, a big research paper said we've taken the five big SSRIs. That stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. I'm not sure I want my reuptake inhibited, but that's what these SSRIs do, Zoloft, Prozac, et cetera. And they tested them against fungus and found that all five either caused a lag in fungal growth that slowed them down or killed the fungus. So folks, when your doctor gives you an antifungal medicine, I'm sorry, gives you an antidepressant me uh, medicine, he's giving you an antifungal medication because these SSRIs have antifungal uh, potential and properties. So understand how huge this is for my field. Are they working because they're killing fungal germs in your body? Or are they working because they're interfering with this thing going on in your brain? I have to question that. Well, <clears throat> I wrote a couple of blogs in this, 2013, 2014, and you can go to my website, knowthecause.com, and get these and read these blogs. It's fascinating, folks. It's fascinating how they're looking at antifungals back, you know, a few years ago as actually having antidepressant qualities. Isn't that amazing? And did you know that statin drugs that uh, cause your cholesterol go down also have antifungal properties? And did you know that aspirin, and we could go on and on and on with the drugs, AIDS drugs, that have antifungal properties. So here's the thing, if you're depressed, let me read you a couple of headlines because they were totally confusing to me over the weekend, and yet I high-fived my wife. Wow, this is huge. Could, this is NPR, great article by the way. Could depression be caused by an infection? Yep. Okay, let's go to, no. 
could depression be caused by an infection? They, they referenced this guy, Henry Cotton, in 1907, over 100 years ago, that found when he pulled patients' teeth that were eaten away with bacteria, their depression let up. And so he started to put a hypothesis together that, gee, maybe the bacteria in your body is causing you to become depressed. Now, you know my feelings on that, right? It might be bacteria, it might be viri, it might be protozoa, but I think it's definitely fungus because none of them off-gas a secondary product called a mycotoxin in this case. So fascinatingly, I wrote, this referenced an article that was done in a big major journal, and I wrote that doctor, got a response back just this morning, just a few hours after I wrote this doctor. And he said, you know what, Doug? You might be onto something. We've studied bacteria, we've studied virus, we've never looked at fungus. Hopefully I can work with him to that end. The other paper that came out, and we'll go on on this, uh, study, more than two-thirds of patients on antidepressants are not depressed. New study shows that more than two-thirds, 70%, 69, 70% of patients using antidepressants don't actually meet the criteria for depressive disorders. You know what I say to that, folks? Duh. We're throwing antibiotics out like they're candy. Why not throw antidepressants out? Why not throw statin drugs out? The goal of the drug companies is to make more money. In order to do that, they must have their students called physicians, and yes, every doctor must get continuing medical education, and who do you think gives that education? Thank you, the drug companies. So they must get their students to learn how more and more and more drugs are needed. Fascinating article, fascinating article, because it just says blatantly, we're handing these out far too often. And folks, there's a dangerous side of antidepressant drugs. One of the side effects is mania. It means walking into a library, a school, or driving your car through hordes of people and injuring or killing them. We've got to put our thinking cap back on. Now, when we get back, what I'd do if I had depression, don't go away. I think for those people who are very active and don't like to take a lot of pills, uh, the two of them would be perfect for them. This is a multivitamin formula based on the ideal intake of all these wonderful vitamins and minerals that are going to optimize your health way more than a generic multivitamin will. Take one in the morning, one in the evening, boom, they're done and it covers you know, a multitude of different uh, things that will help you stay healthy. Order now for the two per day vitamin, one month supply for $8.25. Which of my books fit you? When it comes to diabetes, this is a very complex problem, and yet the answer medically is to treat it. Folks, wouldn't it be great if we knew the cause? I think the fungus link to diabetes will be a real eye-opener for many of you. Of course, the diets are there, the prescriptive and the natural antifungals are also taught in the fungus link to diabetes. You know, during that break, Scott, our producer, said statin drugs, it's almost like I promote those or, or antidepressants because they have antifungal qualities. Uh, folks, don't get me wrong. Um, vitamin C has antifungal qualities, as do the B vitamins, niacin and so forth. Um, that's the way I'd turn. That's one of the ways I'd turn if I had depression. Now, let me tell you, any 20-year-old coming back or 21-year-old coming back from the war in Vietnam is going to have depression. Um, we didn't have depressive disorders back in 1970, 71, so post-traumatic stress we didn't know about back then. Um, but I quenched mine with beer. I mean, you know, I my friends, we moved into an apartment together, two of the guys I was with uh, moved into an apartment together, and I took a job at a, a hospital out in Los Angeles with an ear, nose, and throat doctor. And eventually the beer got old. I couldn't work, I didn't like who I was, and I know I was covering up the hurt I saw over in Vietnam. And I'm one blessed guy that I came through that okay. I met a girl, had kids, everything stabilized for me to the point where I don't have depression anymore. I was lucky because at the same time I, find, I found out that my depression let up when I went on antifungals and when I followed a certain diet. So the Oreo cookies, the sandwiches, the beer, 
was inducing my brain to have these depressive problems. And I think so often that's the case there. Maybe you hadn't gone through the war, maybe you've led a pretty privileged life, but I've gotta tell you, at some time, alcohol being a mycotoxin, or antibiotics being mycotoxins, or wheat, or corn, or peanuts, having mycotoxins in them can build up enough in your body that by gosh, I think I'm depressed. I'm gonna to go to a psychiatrist. What is a psychiatrist going to do? Thank you. You're gonna be one of these people. Study, more than two thirds of patients who are on antidepressants shouldn't be on them. You're going to end up on an antidepressant, folks. Antidepressants can induce horrible side effects. You notice the media never runs to which drug was that boy on who went into that school and shot up. It's always, what's wrong with him? Is his family depressed? They always get deep. Be shallow. Which, he was depressed, which antidepressant was he on? I would change my diet if I had depression. I'd follow my phase one diet, right? Uh, so I'd starve fungus. Fungus is a living parasite. It has to eat carbohydrates, sugars, etc. That's what my phase one diet does. It starves those. Number two, I'd probably talk to my doctor about going on an antifungal for a couple of weeks while I'm on that diet. Then drop the antifungal if he'll let you and use supplements as antifungals because so many of them have antifungal uh, properties. I hope you've learned a lot from this depression. Yes, it can be due to a germ. Science is finally going in that direction. Don't go away. Barb and Frank Long of Long Life Unlimited are distributors of one of the best home cleaning degreaser products in the country called Orange TKO with Delimony. Also, they feature many products in the Rafa Remedy line. Try this amazing product on your skin today. They also can serve you with 300 other products, many that are featured on Know the Cause. Ask for the Know the Cause special now by calling the number or logging on to longlifeunlimited.com. Remember, it's God given people approved and doctor recommended. Which of my books fit you? Are you or a loved one suffering with allergies, arthritis, intestinal problems, or depression? In the Fungus Link One book, the diet is there, the antifungals are there, and so is the information on those disorders. You know, as I go back and look over this show, I, I see my segments on depression. I wonder how many Americans are on SSRIs or antidepressants or other antidepressants. And then Scott comes in and we talk a little bit about gut problems. How many Americans are seeing gastroenterologists and taking gut medication? Folks, just those two has to be in the multi-millions. I see how drug companies work. We are dependent upon them. And we're dependent on the doctor to go back and see him and pay a fee and get more drugs. And then I hear Dr. Ann Louise Gittleman talking about, well, maybe if we changed our diet, Maybe if we showed some attention to some of these oils or fats that are healing, restorative, uh, we'd be better off. Folks, that's what this show is all about. I didn't name it, see another doctor, get another opinion, go to another pharmacy. I named it, understand why you're sick, why you have depression, why you have tummy problems, etc. Thank you, each and every one of you, for being here today. Daniel, great planks. See you next time. Bye-bye.